let's talk about our mental health. I have been working on posting something like this for a little while now, but I have moderate to severe anxiety. We had a lot of changes in the past couple of months. We moved. I quit my job because I live about an hour and a half to two hours away from anything. Our house wasn't ready. It wasn't going to be ready until October, but we know that we needed to have the kids in school. So we moved. We bought an RV. We moved out here so the kids could go to school. Um, and then we had to move again after we got back from Alaska. My anxiety has been just at the top. When we got back from our cruise in Alaska, I started seeing a psychiatrist because while we were on the cruise, I let my anxiety get out of control. Um, we were following her around some bad weather and it made, of course, the ship topsy-turvy kind of thing. And um, I don't like flying. I'll do it because I don't want to keep that, let that keep me from doing the things that I want to do. Um, but it makes me nervous. So I went to the psychiatrist to get some medication to help me. Um, some of the medications I tried, I tried a few. The first one I tried was Wellbutrin. Um, I just felt like it intensified my feelings and it made me very moody, very sad, very mad, just quick. Uh, she said I was borderline bipolar, so she prescribed me a mood stabilizer, Caplita. It's fairly new. Um, for me, that did not go well. It caused me to have burning pains. I felt like I was going crazy. I ended up going to the emergency room a couple of days after I had already stopped it because my heart rate was like 125 and my blood pressure was like 160 over 90. So, and I was having chest pains and everything and I knew it was the medication, but I went and they told me that it would just take some time to get out of my system. Fast forward. Oh, and I was also on buspirone at that same time as well. I told my psychiatrist I was not ready to take any more medications. And then I started having these like extra anxiety feelings about once a week. So I called her back. I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try something. She prescribed me a Cymbalta. With that, I was very shaky. I had tremors and I was extremely anxious. So took it one time and that was it. I had also taken clonazepam um, just to see how it would make me feel. This is supposed to be if I travel and I'm anxious again. So I wanted to see what it would do to me. And the clonazepam was nice initially, but the day after I started having increased thoughts of like death and stuff. So I figured that's probably not the best. Um, so for now, I'm going to stay off of the medications and I'm going to try other means to help calm my anxiety. I wanted to tell you guys about some of the things that are helping me that are not medication related. One of the things is a tranquil inhaler. You just put it up to your nose. It's got some lavender, some other things, and it helps ground your sense of smell um, whenever you sniff it. So, um, and the other one, I'm reading a book called Time Will Tell by Courtney Peppernell. It's very helpful because it lets me know that I'm not alone and to see that somebody else has feelings that I felt and that they have gotten better from it. Um, something else I'm journaling. My therapist has talked to me about journaling. She's talked to me about grounding techniques. She's talked to me about deep breathing. And then I've downloaded some apps on my phone that I like. One of them is called Finch. It's a cute little like bird that you're um, raising. And this one's a little bit different because it's more so for like getting up and doing things. So like when you complete your task that you've chosen, you click on it and it helps your, your bird grow. Um, the other thing is um, a thing called Forest. It's a focusing app. Um, I have a lot to do and my brain goes everywhere. So I'll turn it on and it gives you so much time to complete your task. And if you pick up your phone in that meantime, it yells at you. Not really. It just tells you put down your phone. Um, and then once you're done, you'll grow a tree. So essentially the goal is to grow a forest because you're being focused and doing the task that you're supposed to be doing and staying on task. So I hope that some of these things help you because I know I've been struggling and they're helpful for me. So I hope that these are helpful for you too. Also, can I just say the wind out here today is crazy. Y'all know that we live in Texas and there's a wind advisory today. So it's been like super windy. Uh, so I had to come outside and check it out for myself and it's pretty windy.